as I can see, the better. So I don't feel like I'm tagging myself. Um, okay, so I know Stacy's st sick. I'm sure she's on here, but um, Eliana um, and I and Stacy were there, and then a couple of the other girls. Um, I am just so freaking excited. Like this weekend was. I've gone to a lot of events. I actually don't miss them ever. And you shouldn't either. Um, so just to prepare you that our conference tickets, um, that is our big once a year conference. It's usually in Florida. Yeah, girl, write this down. I see you, Samantha. You write that down. Okay. I am going to conference. I don't want you to write down the dates. I want you to write, I am going to conference 2019. Um, it is like the best thing since sliced cheese. Like you will leave there a whole new person. Um, and I actually know a little secret secret. Um, technically it's not announced yet, but I don't know. I don't know. Should we tell you guys? Should we tell you guys? Eliana, should we tell him? Ah! No, 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 we shouldn't. Oh, all right. Okay. All right. I'll see you. I don't know. Eliana said no. So let me just tell you. Stacy says yes. Yes, two against one. So, okay, so I wasn't going to tell you, but uh, Jamie is actually the one who caught it. So her team already knows. Um, but I think it, I think we, the only way I'm going to tell you guys is if you promise to do one thing prepare for the next week to purchase your ticket. Put your arm up. Say, I swear I'm purchasing my freaking ticket. Um, <laughs> hmm. Okay, so, okay. all right, guys, we're going to do this. Everyone's like, gosh, taking away the good stuff. Okay, so this is just so lit. Like, when I heard this, I was like, oh, my gosh. Okay, so you guys ready? You ready? Okay. I hope it's as good as I think it is because, yeah. So – when and this is recorded so i hope i don't get in trouble so when <laughs> eliana's like shut up <laughs> you don't tell me i don't tell you how about that inside joke <laughs> um okay so <clears throat> when conference, when conference why am i why am i echoing keep y'all muted y'all selves muted okay so when um tickets are released you're going to get some wrap rewards. Okay. So number one, they're not wrap rewards anymore. They're actually product credit. So that alone is pretty amazing. It's not going to be wrap rewards anymore. It's going to be product credit. Um, that way you can buy keto coffee. You can get keto cash, but they are also going to give you 20 coupons for $20 business builder kits. So you're going to be able to sign up 20 distributors for $20. Yeah, yeah. so freaking awesome. If you are not a diamond yet, that is $2,000 in fast start bonuses. Like that is so amazing. Like they are preparing us for just success. Like the rest of the year, bringing these people in, training them, guiding them, getting them to conference. Like I am so freaking excited. And it won't be for long. It won't be forever. It will be early bird. Um, it will be quick. So you better get your ticket. Okay. Um, and if you don't, if you don't get your ticket, I'm not talking to you. We're not friends anymore. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But seriously, like when I heard this, I was like, this is the ultimate like set up for success. Literally. Like you guys are set up to bring in 20 new teenagers. 20 new team members before conference, 20 new team members before um, the new year. So conference is normally in Florida. I can't actually say because I don't know um, when and where, but it's usually the last weekend of January or the first weekend in February, usually. And then um, it's always been in Florida because that's where the company is. Okay. So prepare, you guys prepare. And when I post, oh my gosh, I just found this $200 flight, and then you think, oh, no, I'm going to wait till it's 150 It'll never be 150 <laughs> The cheapest I've ever flown to Florida, I think, was like 250 after taxes. So, But that's because I'm all the way on the other side of the world with you guys. Um, so literally, like, it's so legit. So legit. Too legit to quit. Okay. So 
Um, oh my gosh, I have so many notes. I just can't even. So really quick, um, I put out a challenge to all of you guys. This is something we did years ago and it's time for us to get loud again about what we're doing. And I think in a, a sense, I was kind of scared to do this because I was like, how selfish does it sound for me to say like, I want to make $70,000 a month. Like what a brat, you know, but it's not, that's not true. Um, because you know what, the only way that I'm going to be making $70,000 a month is if I help you guys make money. And, um, the only way that I know God will let me make $70,000 a month is if he knows I'm capable of taking care of it. Right. So, um, I want you guys, I, I already did it for today. Um, I put mine out there. I was going to do, put it on my mirror, but I wanted to like get more, um, attraction with like the picture. So I put it on a piece of paper and I'm going to put that piece of paper on my fridge as well as, uh, write it on my mirror in my bathroom. Like it's got to be in your face because that's the only way that you don't make excuses for not hitting your goals. Um, personally, um, your business right now is the time to plant the seeds right now is the time to get crazy with growing your network, bringing people in, figuring out how to talk to people, bringing those newbies in, teaching them, guiding them. Um, because let me just tell you guys, something happens January 1st and something happens at conference where they always, always, always announce something huge and you don't want to miss out because if you wait till, uh, the end of January when we go to conference to start running because there's a $1 billion bonus or whatever that you want, it's going to be too late. You have to start now. That's just how this business works. It doesn't happen overnight. You have to start now. Um, like for example, you guys, I'm always learning. Like I, I went on YouTube today and I was like, uh, how to grow your Instagram faster. Like, and there was this girl giving her 25 tips. I'm like, all right, let's get it. You know? So, um, you just have to be willing to learn. So put out your goal for me. Um, there's no rank attached to $70,000 a month. I've been hashtagging the black diamond team. I want you guys, uh, <laughs> yay babies. Um, I want you guys to hashtag that same thing so that they can see like a movement on our team. Um, they can see big goal, small goal. There, there's no such thing as a small goal, but just a stepping stone. Um, and so for me, when I have done this before, I usually put a rank attached to it because your rank, your chart is your roadmap for that income. So let's just say you want to make $10,000 a month, put triple diamond. You want to make $5,000 a month, put double diamond, things like that. Uh, so for me, I just put that by the time frame. I put mine by April because I know what I'm doing now is going to set that up for us just going crazy. Okay. So put that out there, you guys put it out there tonight, tomorrow, whatever. Um, and just let people know like why you started and where you're going. Um, and that kind of leads me, um, to something else that we were talking about. So, um, Eliana, do you want to tell them about the debt thing? So if you guys didn't see, I, uh, put out to prepare for this meeting, um, and writing out all your debt. So that's not just saying like, I think I have like 20 grand of debt, whatever. It's literally being like Kohl's credit card, $550, uh, whatever credit card, very specific. If you haven't done that, do it after this, but I hope most of you, I see Crystal, good job. So I will go ahead and let you take over for that, Eliana. Hey guys, yeah, I don't, I'm not at home right now or else I was gonna like show you guys on my little whiteboard, but just write down, I am debt free at the top of your paper and then have all of your debt written down um, just like Christy said, like Kohl's, you know, Sears, JCPenney, even if you have like a loan or whatever it is, okay? Obviously the house, we all know that takes a little longer. So if you want to include your car, that's fine too, but you don't have to. We're mainly talking about credit card debt um, and any other loans and stuff. If you just have student loans, then maybe you can kind of do like, uh, like break it down a little bit, but let's just talk about credit card debt first. So write down all, you know, the list of all your credit cards. And then if you have a thousand dollars in a credit card, Right next to it, I want you to put 10 distributors. If you have a $500 credit card, I want you to put five distributors. Because on the right-hand side of all your debt, you're going to put the distributors that you're going to fast start, the amount of distributors you're going to fast start in order to pay off all that debt. So guys, Caesar and I uh, have paid off over $55,000 of debt. And we did this mainly by enrolling distributors. Now here's what's awesome when it starts happening like that too. You start getting bigger and bigger and bigger paychecks. And the last debt that we submitted 
um, which was, I believe last year was like $14,000. It was like a $14,000 payment. And we just put that on Caesar's, uh, one of Caesar's credit cards and that's it. And then we were debt free. Um, but you guys need to just make sure that you look at the, like, just focus on paying off your debt. So start with the smaller ones. Let's just say you have a $200 credit card. You need to enroll two distributors. So literally go work on getting those two distributors, fast start them, know that you have those fast starts already ready, cross off that whole deal, but cross it off once you actually pay off that credit card. Don't just like, okay, I have $200 in fast starts. I'm going to go to Ross, blow it up, or I'm going to go and on a date night and things like that. You guys have to learn to manage your money now, because if you guys don't learn how to manage it now, when you guys are making 5,000 or 10,000 or 20,000 a month, then you're not going to be able to manage it. Um, and that starts now guys. Um, and then, so, like I said, start with the smaller ones and then you work your way up in the bigger ones, you know, the 10 distributors. And obviously you're going to have to just chunk it down and be very, very smart and very disciplined about your fast starts. If you want to include your entire paycheck in your debt too, that's fine. Um, we actually used um, a lot of our fast starts and a lot of our paychecks too, to become debt free. It just, it's a matter of how important it is for you to become debt free and how disciplined you're going to be to not go and spend it. And so making a budget is going to be very important. Um, you know, just being very, uh, how do you say it? Just being very disciplined guys, you know, learning to say no to certain things. We were saying no to certain things. Like just if we were invited to like a birthday party or something like that, it, honestly, we were paying off debt. And so if we absolutely had to go, then we would go, but we were paying off debt. And so we would be, we were being extremely, extremely strict with our money guys. Um, so make sure that you guys do that. And then, um, what else, what else did they talk about a little bit on uh, green carpet? Christy, I know it was a lot, a lot to do with the debt part, um, but, um, so, oh, one thing sorry guys, sorry, real quick. So the best thing about paying off your debt with fast starts is that guys, the goal is to pay off the debt. But if you think about it, you're bringing in new distributors, bringing in new distributors, and you're growing and growing and growing your team. And next thing you know, you're charted for whatever, you know, rank you want. And so when we were, we were triple diamonds when we were paying off all of our debt. And so we were growing and growing, getting all these distributors. And I was so focused on just paying off my debt that the next thing you know, we were actually, we got charted presidential and then we promoted presidential. And that's when we were able to have our debt-free wedding, debt-free honeymoon and all that stuff. Um, so that was really awesome guys. So just like, you know, finding that way to grow your business while you're paying off your debt. Oh, and also do not forget every, every time you pay off your credit card, blow it up on social media. If it was a $200 credit card, if it was 500, 700, a thousand, 2000, whatever it was, because that's another big, big way of growing your business. So many people out there want to pay off their debt. They have debt and they're looking for that extra two to $300 a month or $500 a month. I started for $500 a month because I needed to pay off my credit card debt. And so I remember that's why I started and that's exactly what I needed to do because that was my why. And so I needed to make sure that that why co got completed. Oh my gosh, look at this dog guys. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, squirrel ear. Okay. So, um, you want to make sure that you guys, um, sorry, I'm like total squirrel, um, that you guys are growing your teams. And as you're doing that, you're actually charting for the ranks that you want and things like that, because you will, you'll be so focused on paying off your debt that you will end up promoting to every rank that you want. Yeah. So <clears throat> you guys like what she said there at the end is going to be something that you do not Oh, Stacy, I met Eliana. I'm like, why, where are you? <laughs> like a random room. Um, <clears throat> so you guys, like you have to show every single part of your journey. So I want us all to decide tonight what that's going to be. If you have debt, it should be that. Um, I want you to be open and be honest. People don't want perfect. They want real and they want vulnerable. They already see perfect all over social media, right? I'm not saying that you shouldn't have nice photos and things like that, but, um, so for example, I'm going to use me for example, we do not actually have any debt. So technically we owe a little bit on our car, but we could pay it off right now, but we used it for investments instead. So, cause we were making more than we would have spent whatever long story short. So, um, that is our only debt. So what I'm going to do in reverse. And if you have debt, this is how you should do it. I want you to make a post and this can be separate from your goal post. And I want you to say, we have 
$34,559.24 of debt. And it's scary to say, and it's scary to tell people because, you know, from the outside, you would never know it, but it works is going to help me pay that off. And I am going to prove you guys. I'm going to show you guys that this is, you know, whatever you want to say in your post. Okay. You need to put it out there because this is the deal. If you just posted one day that you, um, paid off $24,000 of debt, people are going to be like, great. It came and it went. And then you're going to be like, well, damn, what do I post about tomorrow? You know, but letting them be a part of the journey is what is going to blow up your business. Because there are people, I know people with $80,000 of student loans and I know people with just a thousand dollars, but letting, being open and vulnerable and letting them know, like I have this much debt and I'm going to pay it off. And this is our goal. And then, you know, you pay, you pay a hundred dollars. You know, one of my girls, I love this. It just made me so freaking happy. So she messaged me today. She's like, oh, I got my first paycheck. It was $21. Like, she's so excited. She's like, my next goal is a hundred dollars. Like little things like that. People want to be a part of the journey. If I just post one day, woohoo, just got a $70,000 paycheck. They're going to be like, what? Shock and awe. And then gone tomorrow. You know, like it doesn't matter. So if you do not have debt, let them be a part of your specific goal. So for example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be putting out a goal that I want to make $500,000 in cash to, to build our dream home. Like that's, that's my goal. Um, Aaron's taking all of our money, <laughs> literally <laughs> all of our money. And he's going to be right. Well, not all of it, but he's going to be writing a $250,000 check for his traditional business. Yeah. It's a, it's a hell of a lot of money. Right. And so I'm, and then we have our savings and we have like our, you know, oopsie fun, whatever. And so I'm going to be starting at zero for our house fund. Um, and so that's my goal. And every single month I'm going to, you know what? 10% tithing, uh, you know, 10, 20% savings, whatever. And I'm going to put, you know, I just put $15,000 into our house fund. Maybe for you, that might be $500. Maybe for you, that might be $50. It doesn't matter what the amount is. It matters that you let people go along your journey with you. Um, <clears throat> and this, this is something that you can be posting about constantly, which is what I love because I think sometimes we like, we're like, okay, don't know what to post about today. Um, so that's huge. You guys be vulnerable, be open about it. Um, I, you guys are about to make a lot of money. Like that's the thing. If you work this business, and you run every single day and you run with us to conference and you're there and you run after that, like you're going to be making thousands of dollars a month. Okay. And I do not want you to look back a year from now and say, where is it? Right. It's, it's funny because Sarah Rankin, she's an ambassador and she's been an ambassador for, it took her eight years to get ambassador and she's been an ambassador probably four or five years. So when they hit the millionaires club, that means that you've, you've made a million dollars with it works in commissions or whatever. They said that they went on stage, they got announced and they went off stage. They looked at each other and they said, where is it? Like where to go? Because man, it's freaking easy to spend, right? Like we all know it's freaking easy to spend. Um, <clears throat> and I don't want to see you guys in a year be like, Oh look, I bought a nice car and I still have $20,000 in debt. Like that's not how we should live. Um, that's stressful, <laughs> right? So <clears throat> that is our goal as a team, you guys. Um, so I want you guys to do those two things. So put out your goal. And also if, if you know, you have debt, put that out. Do not be afraid, be vulnerable, be open, still like look cute when you're like taking the picture, but <laughs> you know, be open and vulnerable with it. Um, <clears throat> so, um, Stacy and Eliana, whenever you guys want to like say something, just let me know. Cause I have a hella long list of so much good stuff. Um, I'm not going to go through all of it, but um, this is just crazy. And this was, this is so freaking true. So, um, Mike Patillo, he's part of our corporate team. He went up there and he said, you know, he heard something that said that people most die at 65 years old, but they don't get buried until they're 85 years old. Sapphire's like, what the, <laughs> what are you talking about girl? Okay. So what that means? And he said, you know what? I don't think that's true. He said, I think most die at 40 years old and they get buried at 85. So what does that mean? People stop dreaming. They stop having goals. 
They're just literally waiting to die. Um, most people these days, they don't have a retirement. Most jobs, most things like that, like they don't give you something. You're going to have to live off social security, the bare minimum, or you're going to be working till you're 75. Like I personally know people that are going through that struggle right now. Um, deciding do I work till I'm 75 or do I just try to live on the bare minimum? You know, when, the, when you've worked 40 years, 40 hours a week, lived for the weekends, and here you are wondering, okay, now what do I do? You know, and these, the people I'm talking about too, man, they are very good with their money, very good with their money, but there's just not enough right? There's just not enough to take you to a hundred years old. So <clears throat> I really, I want you guys to understand that because this will help you get out of this little bubble. Sometimes we get in this bubble of our feelings. We get in this bubble of, I can't do this. I don't look like her. I don't act like her. My life's too hectic. My, you know, that's your bubble. Like break out of that bubble and go for more, like be bigger than yourself. If you don't know how to do something, Go to the team page. Go to freaking YouTube. I'm always trying to learn and grow. I never miss an event because I always learn something at the event. And I'm freaking the one on stage talking about it. You know? Like, it doesn't matter. I'm always hungry. And you should be too. I'm always hungry. Um, and shout out. So excited. You guys, three of your personal leaders, Eliana, myself, and Stacy, all were on stage this weekend. Okay? I was a panel host, which was like pretty freaking, I was like, that means I'm in control of it. And Eliana's like, girl, you, you own that Monday night training. So I'm like, not the same. <laughs> um, but I'm so proud of them. And Stacy was on two different panels, like out of the whole company. Like, and it's so funny because I talked to so many ambassadors, the black diamonds, all that kind of stuff. I'm like, I'm always hungry. I'm like, okay, what do you do? What do you do? Let me just tell you guys, we all do the same things. It's just that some do it more and some are, have a better mindset. That's literally it. That's literally it. Um, okay. So <clears throat> let's see here. <coughs> Sorry. So this was <clears throat> kind of a way to grow your story, to, um, be able to actually like come up with a plan for your story. So this is something maybe um, you should write down. So this is your, you know, share your story because of it works. Um, and this is what they called the elevator speech. So, you know, we have blank. Are you interested in getting $500? Do you know anyone interested in that? So this is something interesting. It's like asking somebody to join your team without asking someone to join your team. Um, you say like, Hey, do you know anybody that would be interested in, in making this extra money? Um, then you never feel like you're just spamming them. If that makes sense. Um, and I loved that. Um, <clears throat> and this is huge. You guys, you have got to share your story, whatever that is. Maybe it's rag to rags to riches. Maybe that's goals. Maybe that's your debt, whatever that is, because, and you can't be scared to hide your past because the second you open up, and share what you really did in high school or how you really were. And now you're going to, you know, be a boss. That's when people are going to connect with you. Um, people do not buy from you or become a distributor on your team because you are, it works. No, they join you because you're you. So if you are not showing you, you are not going to go anywhere. Um, <clears throat> okay. So, um, let's see here. There was a, there was a really good one. Okay. So <coughs> this is what your profile, <coughs> your, I was watching some videos too, and it kind of went along with this, but your page, <coughs> whether it be Instagram, Facebook, both, whatever, which it should be both <coughs> should be about three things. Okay. And if they don't go in this category of about three things, then you shouldn't be posting about it. Okay. They said five on stage, but I watched some YouTube videos and they said three. So three to five. Um, now this can be something that you can answer. Um, where is this? This can be, 
these questions will help you figure out what your three to five things will be, okay? So who are you, okay? What are your wins and your struggles? And this is, this is what makes posts, like literally. <clears throat> Why can't I talk? <clears throat> okay, what are your wins and your struggles? What do you want to be known for? Okay, not it works. What do you want to be known for? Okay, what brings you joy? What are you educated in? Like, do you have a degree in something? Are you educated in something? Like, that's something to share. Like, we are not just it works. Like, it works is your vessel. It works is your, you know, boat to get to the island. <laughs> um, what's something that changed you? What are you confident about? Why you joined? And um, casting the vision. Um, okay, so what's something that's changed you? What are you confident about? Why you joined? Casting the vision. So to me, um, you know, that what, what we just talked about, the debt, and then for me, it's, you know, building up for the, for the house. Um, that to me is casting the vision, you guys. You have got to cast the vision for people who they have no freaking idea what you're doing. Why would they do it? You have to cast the vision for what we have to offer. Um, and I cannot say enough, you guys, that your pictures and your posts need to be on point, okay? Um, okay, so um, Eliana was actually talking about this, which was super awesome. I was just talking about um, being authentic, okay? Um, people don't come where they don't know if they're wanted. I loved that um, because it just – you need to be inviting and you need to have, you know, call to actions, um, go live. Um, I love this because they said go live and they said, who watches reality TV? Raise your hand. Who watches reality TV? Okay. Pretty much everybody going live. Is that people will watch it is reality TV. If your kids are losing their crap, crap in the background. Good. That is reality TV, <laughs> right? So don't be afraid of that. Don't be afraid to show that. You can also go uh, face, you can also go live on Instagram. Um, so this is the thing, you guys. <clears throat> I get followers all the time. But this was, this was kind of an aha moment. It's like people don't want to follow just another person selling something. You can tell I sell something, right? But does your page look like something like, oh, she's definitely going to sell me something, you know, like, for me, I'm not going to go like follow McDonald's Instagram, you know, like why would I do that? You have to have something of value to them. Um, and those questions that we asked before, those will help you find out what it is. So maybe you have a hobby of something that you like, um, or maybe, you know, maybe you work at Starbucks currently. You know, you could be talking. I know I was thinking, I was looking at you, Morgan. Um, so maybe you, you hashtag Starbucks, you follow people that check in at Starbucks and you just talk about like, I'm leaving this place. Like that is your journey. That is your story consistently, you know? Um, uh, let's see here. Oh, I love this too. Going live about specific objections. So when somebody, I do this all the time with posts, if you need post ideas or things to go live about, number one, you could Google it. You guys like Google has everything, but number two, why does somebody not join? Okay. Let's, let's put a few reasons in the chat. I don't have the money. Go live about not having the money. Go live saying, you know what? I had this girl on my team. Her name was Samantha. She did not have the money to start, but she found that this, this, and this, or this girl sold this. I indirectly am answering their objections with a post or a, or a live video. Like I'll go live and I'll have Samantha on there. Like, um, I love that too. The, the momentum Mondays, you guys, I don't have to be the only one to do those. Like do them yourself, have someone on. If you're like, everybody keeps telling me they don't have time. So get someone on here. That's hella busy <laughs> and have them jump on your live and be like, Samantha thought that she was way too busy for this business, but she gave it a try anyways. And look at her now, Samantha, share your story. You are indirectly selling them on the opportunity. 
Like it's, it's that simple. You guys, if I, like, if I have a girl who's like, my boyfriend doesn't support me, I'm like, all right, who didn't, okay, Stacy, shout out to Stacy, my girl, her husband didn't support her when she started, like, boom, you know, like, I don't even, I don't even skip a beat making a post or a video about it. <laughs> um, because they have to see someone that they might connect with, because Aaron has always been supportive. He's like, go, babe, go, you know, so they can't connect with me, um, but they can connect with other people. Um, so I love that one too. I love this too. This is so simple. One day at a time, you guys just take it one day at a time, like win the day, you know, before you, you can do Wednesdays. Y'all can do it every day. People, people sometimes on our, uh, our power hours, you guys, they're like, well, what about this? I'm like, do it. You guys, I'm just giving you like a roadmap, but there's like a lot of stuff that you can do to grow your business. Um, so, uh, one day at a time. I love this. You guys just try to win the day. Just try to bring in one person today. Just try to grow your contacts. Um, I was talking to Joel, you guys, Joel and Stephanie are the number one income earners in the company. And they invited, um, us ambassadors into their home and it was freaking awesome. Um, it was amazing. And <laughs> we were like, Ballin. Uh, I have this really cute picture that I haven't posted yet. I'm wearing their black diamond robes. I'm definitely going to post that. And, um, the thing is, is like, gosh, number one, we just have fun. But number two, um, he was saying, he's like, you know what, do those power hours or put out these, uh, challenges or give yourself a challenge for the day, but it should not be action driven. It should be results driven. Okay. And I started implementing this on the power hour today. So what does that mean? Um, if I say go message 30 people, that means absolutely nothing. If not one person messages you back, right? You did not grow your business. You did not grow your potentials. The way that you actually grow your business is to have real potentials each day. So your goal each day, um, should be to have a certain number of strong potentials, whether that be customers or distributors. That is winning the day. Um, if, and you have to find out what your number is. So if I message or if I talk to, or if I put an awesome poll out, however you want to do it. Um, if I put out like 50 and I get like 10 solid potentials, I'm like, okay, if I want 20 solid potentials, I have to message a hundred. Right. Um, but if you message 50 people a day and you get zilch, you need to do something different or you need to do more. There's, there's a disconnect somewhere. So your goal should be, my goal every day is sign someone because I feel like when you put that out there, that's what comes to you, you know? Um, but the goal is to win the day, the win, the, win the day by having someone sign or those potentials. Sometimes when you're looking at this big chart, you're like, you just stare at it. You're like, not today. You know, I've done that. I, I look at a chart and I'm like, not today. <laughs> <laughs> not doing it. But then I'm like, all right, I'm just going to, my goal is just going to bring it be to sign and get one person at the computer. That means I won the day, you know? Um, so, okay. This is awesome too. Guys, I have so much stuff. Um, selling is listening. Okay. Um, sometimes you guys are asking me for the perfect script or the perfect, this, there's not a perfect thing. The perfect thing is asking questions. They will sell themselves. They really will. Um, when I ask someone, okay, what's your goals? Like, tell me about your life. They literally list all the reasons why they need the business. And I'm like, there you go. How could you not want to sign up? Right. Um, and that's huge. Um, Ooh, I love this too. Okay. This is kind of about, uh, layered leadership. So this is simple. So a newbie, they don't know what an upline is. They don't know what placement is. They don't know what all that junk is. Right. So, um, this was just simple wording and it's basically, you know, if I say, Hey Morgan, um, or Hey Jocelyn, I just partnered you with Morgan. Um, you know, she's amazing. You're going to have her and me. It's just those simple words of, I partnered you with them. Not, I placed you under, this is your upline. They're like, what the F's an upline? You know, um, Sorry if your kids are listening. Um, and then asking how you best learn. I actually asked Morgan that this today and I was like, okay, well, like what do you, how do you best learn? Because I have been teaching her how I learn. 
I have been teaching her what motivates me. I have been teaching her those motivational videos that like, just like, I'm like, I'm going to take over the world, you know? And she's like, it, it don't work. Like, she's like, it's just, I can't listen to them, you know? So it's going to be different for everybody. And it was just so, it was like the best thing in the world. She just listed. She's like, she's like results motivate me. Give me a host to post and tell me to, you know, message it to a hundred people. And like, if I get one person, like that's, that is what motivates me. So she told me how she learns you guys. So ask your newbies, like, how do you learn? Maybe it's a video. Maybe you want to meet in person. Maybe you want to FaceTime or maybe you just want me to like get out of your face and you want to go read the documents in the e-suite. You're like, what the heck? But some people do that, you know, like that's just their personality. Um, so that's important to ask them. Um, and then the next thing is, is get on their level. This is something I've struggled with over the years. Cause I'm like, why don't you see what I see? Um, this is for potentials and for sign distributors. So I, I use it more for, uh, potentials because I already do it with distributors, but what, what do I mean? So like, um, Eliana, like I'm talking to Eliana and I'm like, you know, how much do you want to make a month? She's like $200 extra. And I'm like, what? Like you can make 5,000 grand a month, like baller, you know, she's going to be like, like I'm out of here, you know, I need to get on her level, be like, okay, let's get that $200. And if you want more, we'll focus on more you need. And then you give them, you know, maybe a schedule or a power hour that goes towards their goal, not yours. Right. Um, we do that a lot. We tend to want people to, to want it as much as we do, but no one in here is working on a hundred thousand dollars a month yet. You know, um, Okay. So this is something too that I love. Um, we said it a lot, but we haven't said it a lot lately to you guys. So, um, run with the runners and walk with the walkers. Okay. Um, this is very powerful. You guys, this is very powerful with who to work with. Um, you know, who you want on your team, that type of thing. Um, but Eliana, your aha moment. Do you want to share that? It was the 80, 20. Yeah, absolutely. So Gosh, I had so many aha moments, guys, but um, one of the biggest ones, and it's like, we hear it all the time. We talk about it all the time. Even us leaders, like we hear it all the time, but it's just, sometimes you just really need to like pay attention to it. And it's talking about, um, you know, is that yet? No, it's not, not the purpose. <laughs> sorry. And so we're talking about the 80% focus on the 80, sorry, focus on the 20% of your team that bring 80% of your paycheck. Basically what that means is focus on the runners, you know, fo run with the runners, not focus on the 80% that are not doing much and that are maybe, you know, just kind of um, taking out, you know, taking out your energy or maybe if somebody left or something like that, why give them the, um, basically the time of day to somebody that left that wasn't doing anything versus somebody that's rocking it every single month, you know, um, bringing in enrollments and wanting to be, you know, wanting to learn always wanting to um, ask questions, things like that. And so sometimes it just becomes more of like, oh my gosh, so-and-so left. Like, was that my fault? What did I do kind of thing? Like, what happened? Blah, blah, blah. But the reality is, is like in this business, people are going to come and go and you just continue to focus on those runners no matter what, because those runners are the ones that are making up almost 100% of your entire paycheck. I love this. Um <clears throat> And this kind of goes along with something that Cami said that was so powerful. Um, somebody says, well, you know, this person needs this, or I want to help this person with this because they want it so bad. But the thing is, is, um, and she said, um, you know, and we want them to work things like that. But she's, she said, you know, like, it's like God saying like, is this your job or is it mine? Um, it's not your job to save them. Like, it's just not. It's not our job to save people. I, I couldn't possibly build all the people's businesses that I want to help, that I know need this way more than somebody else that's actually working it. I, like that, that is something I consistently struggle with. But you have got to remember that 20% um, of the people in your business are going to bring in 80% and that's where you need to focus. Like, and I, man, this is the, this is probably the biggest struggle, like the biggest struggle as you grow, even if you have nobody, some of you guys like don't have anyone on your teams yet. Um, but you'll, you'll start to see, you're like, Hey girl, like 
you're hella broke. Like, why aren't you just posting on social media? Like, it's so hard to comprehend. Um, and sometimes there's just something that needs to be broken through there. Maybe it's a schedule or maybe it's something bigger in their head and their belief system, but there's always a way you guys, if you, maybe you've been in the business for a while or maybe you're brand new and you know, maybe you have or haven't done anything and you're like, I want to run. Like, honestly, the biggest thing I can say is the personal development. Like you have got to start reading books. You've got to start listening to books, whatever it is. Um, and there's some I'll post in the, in the thing. So, um, Mark was talking about the power of recruiting up. I love this. Um, I struggled with this in the beginning because I was like, okay, well this person has a amazing job. Like they're a college graduate, whatever. Like why would they want this business? So I never offered it to them. And then you get in this business and you realize that those people usually have lots of debt. Those people usually have zero time. Um, and it's just crazy like that you need to have the confidence to recruit up because those are the people that are going to run with you, right? Like those are the people that they were, they were disciplined enough to go to school, but now they just have no time. They'll be disciplined enough to do this business. So don't be afraid to recruit up, right? Um, let's see here. Um, oh my gosh, there's just so much. You want to give them an idea of what that means? Like basically Mark was talking about like, um, you know, not being afraid to talk to lawyers, not being afraid to talk to teachers or nurses, um, just because maybe you're not there, but you just never know who actually needs that business. Um, and even like, for example, when, um, when Alejandra came to my business, um, I never once thought about offering her the business because she was working, you know, she was a news reporter. She's a two-time Emmy award winner. She was working for Univision, which is like the biggest, you know, um, I guess like channel out here in, uh, or just like in general for Hispanics. And so I'm like, oh my gosh, she's always taking pictures with celebrities, you know, things like that. Like this girl's totally well off. And little did I know, like that kind of, uh, that kind of career just wasn't paying her enough. And she had, you know, debt and things like that. And she, yeah, she absolutely needed this business. Um, so you just never know guys. And here she is now, you know, triple diamond. So you never, never know who needs this business. And like Christy said, you know, they're so disciplined enough to go to school once they cast the vision and they realize like, oh my gosh, you can make unlimited income in this business. They will run. They will run because they, they will realize if I could do this here and have, you know, still have all this freedom with my family, they will absolutely do it. And that's why you see so many like top income earners that are not like I'm saying like all of them are, but a lot of them are nurses. They were teachers. They were psychologists you know, people that already have like, kind of like, I guess you would say a degree from back in the day. Um, and then there's also people that are college dropouts like us. <laughs> and then Christy hairstylist. <laughs> Just hairstylist. I swear you were not a hairstylist for like the longest, like you were not a hairstylist for too long. No. So if you guys are new here, I literally graduated cosmetology school and I found the business like three months later. <laughs> Uh, I say I was a hair stylist, but let's be honest, I can only do my hair. Just kidding. I can do hair, but <laughs> I don't want to. Um, that was a short lived and I'm glad because it is hard on your arms. It's hard on your hands. I felt like I was getting carpet tunnel and it wasn't even a year. Um, but for real, <laughs> I'm like, uh, I am making nothing. All right. So, and that's something too, I need to share again. Like my checks were like, because I just moved to a new state. I didn't have a, uh, um, you know, pe people yet. And so I was, and I actually had to do more hours in Utah. I was making like $200 every two weeks. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> and Aaron's like, you should go get a different job. Like also. And I was like, no, I'm a hairstylist. Like I went to school for this. Like school's like 20 grand. Um, and he's like, Walmart's hiring. And I'm like, bye. Um, <laughs> and here we are. Um, okay. So I love, love, love this. You guys, your journey is not going to be all uphill. I know. Surprise, surprise. So it's not going to be all uphill. It can be like pretty awesomely uphill, but every once in a while you're going to be like, swerve. Ah, okay. Got to get my shoes together. And then you're going to go up and you go, swerve. Ah, gotta get my, you know, and what that is, is that while you're in momentum, you need to be planting more seeds. You need to be planting your, you know, your mindset, things like that. Um, and uh, failing means you're trying. This is like the most simple stuff, but it's so true. You guys fail forward. Like 
it sounds, sounds super cheesy, but failing means you're trying. Like if you don't have someone tell you no, that means you're not trying. If you um, don't have someone ignore you the day that they say they're going to sign up, like you ain't trying girl because you don't have enough potentials. <laughs> <laughs> um, but like, that's life. Like it's business. You guys, like, it's not going to be all fine and dandy, but man, if you can do some personal development, you will have people knocking down your doors, like get your goals in order and your mindset. Right. And it's just amazing what you can attract. Like it's the law of attraction. It is so powerful. If you're having a bad day, you go back into your room. This is what my husband would do to me. He'd send me back into my room. He'd tell me like, all right, listen, you need to go say a prayer. You need to go sit down. You need a quiet time. And then you need to come back here a different person. I'm like, all right, fine. Bye Felicia. And I do that. And I'm like, oh, okay. Like the sky is not falling, you know? Um, and, and sometimes we just need that. Like sometimes we're just physically tired and we just need a nap. Like sometimes you just got to take a nap and start new after like that's real life <laughs> this is like this isn't even just like business this is like mom this is like work this is whatever um but in order to win the day you have got to accomplish something that day like you cannot just go to bed and then wake up the next day and do nothing and then have excuses like no one's gonna pay you for that um let's see here baby shark um Oh gosh, I have so much good stuff. Okay. So I'm going to give you guys a couple books. Um, one is called, it's cut, it's got an F word, the art of not giving an F. Okay. Write that down. Um, the last arrow. Okay. Um, there's a few more I'll post in there, but I love this too. You guys like normal businesses, like traditional businesses, they used to have to reinvent themselves like every 10 years. Okay. Um, and now it's every three years because of social media, because of the, the fast pace that we're at, it works is reinventing themselves. Um, if you guys look at it, like our keto coffee is flying off the shelves. People are selling those samples for five to $8 a piece. That is so much cash. Um, and I was thinking like, I was thinking like, wow, this was us four and a half, five years ago. I was slaying in wraps. Like I was slaying in wraps left and right. I was selling them 25 each. I'd come home with cash. I'd post that cash. I'd show people that cash. It was exciting. Um, and those, those people who were buying those samples of the, um, wraps turned into customers and distributors. Okay. So don't be afraid of selling samples because they will turn into customers and distributors. And that's what Stacy's panel was about. Um, and I love that because that's what our company is doing. You guys, um, you are, you are growing your team while making cash. And sometimes people just need to see that cash. And that's what we did five and a half years ago. And that's what I believe in about 18 months. Um, the wraps will come back like they're here and they're amazing. And I still talk about them and I still sell them. But what I mean is like the forefront, um, you know, like they, they were the forefront of our company, but I believe in like a year and a half or so they'll come back like, Oh my gosh, what are wraps? You know, like we've been selling keto coffee kind of thing. Um, so I'm super excited about that. You guys like slang that thing. Okay. So also you need to be running an auto ship. So that's why I wanted to say that 80 BV, you guys, for $80 a month for six years, actually for five. So I made a million dollars in this company in five years. Okay. For, I ran my business for $80 a month and I was able to get skinny and healthy and awesome on the way. Right. So $80 a month. I know that it's a lot in the beginning. Trust me. I know, but I have never in my almost six years in the business had my auto ship off. What, why I was talking about the keto cash is because if you do not have the ability to use the products for yourself, which how can you use some, how can you sell something you're not using? You need to be using it. But I also understand the beginning. Sometimes you don't have the money to earn your shopping spree. If you're brand new, get your four customers in your first 30 days, get your $100 shopping spree. Okay. That is your product to use for yourself. Now, how are you going to pay for your auto ship next month? If you're broke and you know, you spent your last $99 on this business what you're going to do is you're going to buy two bags of keto coffee or sorry, three, two, whatever, two to three bags of keto coffee. And you're going to sell them for five to $8 each. 
Um, I know Caesar was doing like three for 25. Is that what was he doing? So honestly, guys, um, three for three for fifteen dollars or five for twenty five. No matter which one you do, you still make seventy five dollars on an entire keto coffee bag. No matter what, that's freaking awesome because t technically retail is only sixty five, and we as distributors pay thirty nine. So that's a huge profit, guys. And just make sure you follow up with those people. Um, Caesar just sold like I think eighty dollars in keto cash or um, a few days right before we went to Michigan. And now we're just going to go follow up with them and then get them to be customers. So that's awesome, guys. Make sure you're doing that. And I know Stacy, that was like her panel. Um, Stacy's pretty big on keto cash, guys. She's amazing. So that's so awesome. Yeah. So if you guys don't have the money to run your auto ship, you need to, you need to get keto coffee and you need to sell it individually. That's going to grow your business offline. Um, and I accidentally grew my business offline. Like I was a hundred percent social media because I was in Utah but I would sell individual wraps here in Vegas. So when we moved back here in Vegas, all the people that I had followed up with, all the people that I had friended on social media, they were all here local. And that's how I grew my team. And I believe there is a strong, strong power in having a local team. And some of you guys have, have said to me, well, I'm not in Vegas. Grow your own local team. Like you're not going to make money off of what I bring in. <laughs> right? Does that make sense? you should be growing your own local team. And it's very easy to find people on social media um, locally to you. Go to places that people check in. Um, there's a consignment, and I just thought of this, there's a consignment sale a couple times a year here in Vegas. Like it, they post it on Facebook and Instagram. Go follow the people on there. Like those are gonna be local towards you. Um, go find people local to you because man, there is so much power and being like, okay, we just signed you up. Let's get together in person. There is a strong, strong power in that. There is a strong ability in saying like, oh, you want to, you know, get a couple samples of keto coffee. Okay. Like let's meet at Starbucks or, <laughs> oh, the irony. Um, <laughs> like let's meet up somewhere, you know? Um, and there is such a strong power and being like, you live where I live. You're real. Like, you are not just a social media face. Like we're, we're like the same people, you know, like we're like 20 minutes away. You're my neighbor. Um, oh, okay. So, uh, one of this, one of these other books is secrets of the millionaire mind. Okay. Um, that's another one. And, um, you guys, I just started journaling and we'll kind of end with this unless Stacey or Eliana want to finish something. She's Eliana or Stacey stick six. So I didn't want to make her talk, but, um, so um, I just started journaling. I have talked to a lot of people over the last few months. And, um, for me, Mark kept saying, get comfortable with being uncomfortable. And I'm like, I don't like to write. Like when I go to the doctors, Aaron fills out the papers. Like I don't even want to use my hands for anything except for my phone, like literally. And I just don't like to write. And I kept getting these very strong, strong affirmations from people um, just talking about journaling and the power of it and the power of writing down what you want, the power of writing down what you're grateful for, the power of writing down things as if they has already have already happened. So it's not going to be just something specific. I'm not just gonna be like, Oh, and my day today, like my kids pooped on the floor, you know, whatever. It's not going to be like that. It's going to be specific towards the business for me. Um, you know, what I'm grateful for personal and business, different things like that. And there is a power of, of writing that down. But if you guys are not there yet, I'm not going to force you to do anything. Um, but there is a strong power in writing down and saying out loud every single day what you want. Okay. So I want you guys to write down five affirmations and they have to be um, in I am or I like um, thanking, thanking God for it, it ha as if it's already happened. I don't know how to use that as an example. Like, thank you so much for me being able to go uh, triple diamond in March of 2019. You know, something like that. Or I am triple diamond March 2019. Something like that. Um, write down five of those. For me too, they're very specific. Like, I write like, I am a strong distributor and roller. I am attracting hardworking, uh, you know, strong and rolling people. Those are the specific things. So write those five things down and I want you to read those every morning and every night. Maybe even make it the back screen of your phone. Okay. Don't just put it in your phone. 
it needs to be in person. You need to see it and read it. And you will start to believe those things, you guys, and they will start to happen. Um, so there's a lot of little things that I've kind of challenged you guys to do tonight. I hope you kind of got them all. Eliana, is there anything else you want to add? Yeah, I just want to add something real quick um, to piggyback on that. So I talked to this girl named Jordan. She's a double diamond, and she's super sweet. She's actually one of the girls that won the, um, the Disney trip. And she talked to me about, like, her and her man are doing this workbook that's called Boss Babe Manifestation. And it's a workbook, and you can purchase it on Amazon. I'm totally going to go buy it, guys. So it gives me the chills, just like what she told me. So basically, she's been manifesting, and it's only been like five days since she's done the workbook. She's just been manifesting, manifesting, like, um, basically the workbook, um, it starts from like the beginning as far as like cleansing yourself. You have to like forgive yourself for X amount, you know, for whatever things and forgive others for so that you don't carry any like bad negativity in your heart and things like that. And just be ready to like ask for what you truly want. And so like the book prepares you completely guys it like about what you want, where you're headed, things like that. And so, um, <laughs> sorry. And so anyway, uh, she was just manifesting like a certain amount of money and it can come in different forms and different types of ways. And she just kind of knew it already in her heart. She was like, we're going to win. We're going to win that Disney. And she was that Disney trip. And she was telling her, her boyfriend, I think it's her boyfriend, her boyfriend, like she was getting ready a few days ago, way before Michigan, she had gotten, uh, she went to Target and she bought some Disney ears. So she was already manifesting it. And then like right before they called her name, she was like, get ready. They're going to call her name. They're going to call her name. And sure enough, they called her name. And the ticket itself, guys, like what she won, it's $3,500. And they've been wanting and wanting to go to Disney and it just happened. And so she literally manifested it. And just like different ways of her and like how money is just coming to her. Um, and of course, she's on Carrie's team. So uh, Carrie, I think it's, well, Carrie, young Carrie Bauer now, or it's actually young now. She's really, really big on manifesting, guys. Huge on that. And so, um, matter of fact, Carla Burns, too, she, she just really does, like, all she does is she just manifests. She just manifests into her, uh, to her business, and that's how she's able to just, like, it's just crazy, guys. Just get the power. Uh, it's kind of like the secret. It's, um, but yeah, Boss Babe uh, manifestation, manifestation Workbook. Sorry, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Awesome. Literally well, yeah, go to that right now. Um, yes. I, so excited. Like I love stuff like that. And it's so funny because even we, Eliana and I and Stacy and you know, just whoever else we talk about that so much. And then sometimes when we're in this like high of our business and we're just busting stuff out and people are promoting, we, we don't do the manifestation cause we're in it, you know? And then you like wonder where it goes and you're like, ah, I haven't been doing what I said I was going to do, you know? Um, so it's super important to do these things no matter when you're at your high, no matter when you're at your low. Um, but it's, oh my gosh, it, it's so real. Like the power of your mind is so freaking real. You guys, um, just know that. So that is also why I want you guys to put out your goals. Um, whether it's a cute piece of paper, your mirror, Alexis already did hers. Super proud of you guys. Um, put that out there put out your, your debt, like just be open and it's going to explode your business. It's going to explode your business. And the how you guys, the how is all over the team page. Like, but I can promise you when you start to manifest it, when you start to talk about it, when you start to feel it, when you start to get excited that like, Hey, if I paid off $20,000 in debt by, you know, March or April, that means that I can start living the way I want to live in May, you know, like just little things like that. Just get excited, get excited about it. Cause people literally don't care about anything except for excitement. Like they'll sign up with you just cause you're excited. Like literally, like, why do you guys get on here? I usually don't teach anything new cause, cause I'm hella excited. Um, okay. So <laughs> anyways, guys, I'm super excited. Um, and this is recorded for somebody who asked, um, but Stacy said she's going to go live, um, tomorrow which is not sick about the keto cash and that kind of stuff, but take all this to heart, do it. And let me just tell you guys, like we know who's working. So don't, don't come, com don't come knocking, complaining why things ain't working if you ain't working. But if you are working and things aren't happening, there's, there's a disconnect up here. Okay. So put it out there. We're all about, we're all about to ball out. Okay. And get ready for conference. Every single one of you guys, 
should be at conference, especially now because that business builder kit. And don't tell anyone because it's a secret. <laughs> and they took it off of eSuite after I posted it in the ambassador page. I'm like, oops. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited, you guys. And I will see you later. Bye.